Hey, this is John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're doing a review demo of the Supro Black Magic. Now this is a loving tribute recreation, sort of, of the one of the most famous rock and roll relic amps of all time, and that's the Supro that Jimmy Page used on his first album, the first Zeppelin album. Now, Page is a little bit cagey about it. He never outright said, this is what I use but it's kind of part of the whole rock mythos, uh, folklore, whatever, that this is the amp. So he used a 59 uh, Supro that looked just like this. And on pages, he took the original 210 cabinet or 210 speakers out, put in a new baffle with a 12. And that's what Supro did here. They put in a specially voiced um, 25 watt British voiced um, 12, uh, 12 inch speaker in, much like that with the new baffle. Uh, I'll tell you all about it after I tell you a few more details about how we're recording it. Basically, I'm plugging my 1967 Telecaster. Uh, I'm running it into a, an overdrive that I'll use later on. I'm not using that right now. But right now, we're running from the overdrive that's not engaged directly into the Supro. And the Supro, when I came in, was turned all the way up, um, which it can, is going to give you that kind of page Supro tone. We're micing with a Royer R121 mic, and that's going into an Apache Quartet and into Pro Tools. So basically, what you heard right there on the intro was just a Telecaster plugged into a Supro, turned all the way up with the tone in the middle, and then I was turning the tremolo on and off with this foot switch. So let me tell you about the ingredients in this very cool all-tube Class A amp. We'll start with the power tubes. They went with two 6973 power tubes because they give that classic old school mid-range mid punch, but also give you a lot of warmth. Um, in addition to that, there are four 12AX7EH tubes. Now the preamp section features two channels wired in parallel with an independent volume control for each one and then a single shared tone control. Um, and they've kind of streamlined things a bit. In the first input, you're able to add volume from the first preamp and the second preamp, um, kind of combine the two as you like. In the second input, it's just um, preamp number two. So I went with that one because it is it gets louder as you add the two, and I just wanted you to hear just that one preamp, but we'll try them both later on. As an Extra little sonic bonus, they have this tube tremolo, which sounds great. And you can control it with a foot switch. Uh, let me just jack with that a little bit. So here we go. Just great. So as I said, when we came in, I was on channel two with the volume all the way up and the tone in the middle. Now I'm gonna turn it down to a reasonable, say one third of the way up, and you can kind of hear some more of the nuance of it. Um, here we go, this is in channel two. <laughs> Just a good, clean tone. You can get kind of a warm, jazzy thing. Reasonable volume, great tone. Now, I've got a, uh, a way huge saucy overdrive in line. Let me show you how it takes pedals. And so here it is without it. That's with it on. Now, pretty great. Goes into overdrive really well, takes that well. Now, if we, uh, if we crank this volume up again, like I had it all the way up, and then add that overdrive, 
it's gonna really get us somewhere. Now that's just the overdrive of the amp and it's killer. And here it is with the overdrive uh, in front of it, the overdrive pedal. Wow. Again, it's only 25 watts, but you could, I think you could kind of play any gig with this thing. In fact, I think uh, uh, I think it's on the Guns N' Roses tour. Guns N' Roses tour right now. Um, so anything from your biggest your biggest stadiums to a club, it would probably handle. So far, we've been in channel two this entire time with the volume either a third of the way up or all the way up. Now I'm going to put it in channel one, where you can see how you can kind of manipulate both channels in parallel to give you different tones. So here it is with, I'll turn that on like three quarters and see what it does. Here's all the way up. Channel two, halfway. Wow, man, that is a very big tone from a tiny amp. Now, apparently, um, I'm told that when they're recording this set, uh, when Zeppelin was doing their first album, uh, he would take his Supro page and put it in like different cupboards and things like that to get weird, just weird room sounds. But that's the magic of a little amp like this. They just come so alive because you can turn them all the way up. It's not like a big amp turned all the way up. Anyway, it's a very cool thing that they, that they did here. Um, it's, it's a loving tribute to what Paige did, but it's its own very cool thing on its own. So those are the basic details of the Supro Black Magic. A very cool amp. To read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com. While you're online, make sure you like us on Facebook. Subscribe to our huge YouTube channel. And check out the new very cool Premier Guitar Podcast. Let's crank this bad boy all the way up. We're going to dime this pig. Volume 1, all the way up. Volume 2, all the way up. <laughs>